coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and they were just finishing up a 1970 Chevelle convertible I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, I'm a big fan of this generation um, Chevelle. What year is this one? It's a 1970 factory big block. I guess it was a factory four-speed car. It's been upgraded to a five-speed now. Right. Um, but factory super sport convertible, pretty, pretty nice rare car. Right on. And I notice it's got the cowl hood, but it doesn't have the flap. So this cowl hood must just get it from the... It actually works from the front right. of it. It's yeah. got the front, you know, well, behind it. Right. You know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But mm -hmm. some of them had them flaps that came up, right. you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's even got a functioning cowl induction hood, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I like the color. Very cool, right? Yeah. Um, we actually did a car for um, Tommy, Tommy Toybach, the 55 No Man. And uh, he took his car home in his banker, uh, Sammy Stewart. He come over and looked at it. He's like, man, I got to have an interior in my car. So he, he asked Tommy, he's like, hey, can you get a hold of Steve? And he's like, oh, yeah, he'll do it. You know? All right, right. That's what he does. Well, of course yeah. we'll do it. Tell me what y'all did. Well, we took all the original. It had a nice original interior. We took all that out and then replaced it. We, I used the original front bucket seats because it matches the air of the car. It's got the chrome around it. It looks really nice. And then we, we took the factory console out and made a full console all the way back. Made the rear bucket seats uh, match the front bucket seats and put in a, this is called a coffee color leather. Okay. So it's got, it's not really brown, it's not really orange, not really red, you know, it's, it just fits this, this color of this car really good. And the convertible top matches the leather really nice too. And that's a, I can't never say, I'm country. Yeah. It's a car Holly, a car Holly, whatever, the new okay. uh, convertible top for the Corvette. Oh, okay. It's that color. However, they can it? It's a German, it's a German. Uh, Convertible it almost looks sweet. Is there suede in that color? Yeah, well, I, you know, it's it's a very unique. And then at one time, you couldn't even buy it no more. They, it was a discontinued color, and then they brought it out. So I got some and, and got the top made and everything for this car. And you put a glass rear window in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. all glass back made window. Made a custom boot? Custom boot, yeah. It's got the orange stitch. And we used a, I put a red stitch up next to it, and the red just clashed with this color because the car is almost an orange and so we put the orange stitch in it and it blended in perfectly. Oh, I think it did too. What is that insert material? I dig that too. Well, we got that from Walsdorf Leather. It's a, uh, it's a real leather, but it's more almost like a uh, skin type of leather. I'm not really sure how to explain it, you right. know, but it, you know, it's a really textured leather that it's, it's really cool and it matched the, the thread perfectly. So. so is that a natural pattern that's on it or is that some kind of stamp pattern that's on it? I think it's... Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, because it, it looks like an, it looks like an enlarged, like normal leather pattern, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Somehow they made it swell or something. I don't know. It, it works though. It's yeah. cool. And you got LEDs, 3D mm. door panels. Oh yeah, power windows. Put the accent material into the doors also, and in the in the in the seats. You know, don't need much. Just enough to just you know give it a little bit of. You know, something right. different than just all solid. And then you made uh, did the dash, padded dash. And yeah, all that. did the dash, and it's actually well, we put a full uh stereo and it's got we put a sub box in the back it's got four speakers running off of us um amplifier in the back with the amp and then it's got um aftermarket dash speakers too that hooks it right right up to the radio because in a convertible there's not really much room to put a radio oh yeah but this thing man it sounds pretty good especially right. with the top up because you know we've we made it to where the sound will come through the boot okay so put the speakers on the outside of the boot so or uh, not the boot the deep well so that when you when the top's up and everything you actually hear the speakers and they're not, not they're not muffled out or anything what about when it tops down i don't know i never heard it that way <laughs> no but i'm sure it still sounds good because we like i said the speakers are just right underneath that convertible top right but going down the road at 70, 80 miles an hour with the top down, you're probably not going to hear nothing wind but the wind. Wind anyway. yeah. 454 there growling out there. Yeah. Ain't gonna Shifting no gears. No, I think again, you know, every time I come out here, you all amaze me. And uh, I think you knocked, a, knocked this one out of the park too. Well, I appreciate it. In the trunk area we did, we just did a nice clean trunk area and um, put the uh, metal in there with the Chevelle emblem on one side of it. So just and with the LED lights also, so you know, so then when not time. This thing will just glow. So with these convertible top cars, then you lose that storage where you usually put it at the back of the trunk. Right. Yeah, but we had just enough storage to put an amp and a speaker box underneath it. So there's nothing else in there that you can put in there anyway. Right on. No, I like how you put the little Chevelle script mm -hmm. in there and how you made it run off the wire, so it looks like it's all the way it's supposed to be. Right. <laughs> well, yeah. No, very cool, brother. Scotty, I appreciate it again. Thank you so much. And you knew we wouldn't get out of here without a peek up under the hood. Big block 454.
very nice install clean I like how the battery is still you know like period correct looking and I don't know exactly but I'm thinking that in the 70s there may have been some more tubes and wires and stuff running that have been cleaned up or eliminated just a cool car all the way around is something I knew yeah it's got a Holcomb interior I knew y'all want to see that but then wrap it in this generation Chevelle yeah who can complain So there you go, a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle convertible 454 Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.